Hello flowers, it's me, Cozy Bee. I hope you're all feeling healthy and hydrated today. Finally, after about two years of waiting patiently, Bear and Breakfast is ready to play. So let's get started. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Hello? I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See, cause that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. WASD to move around. Well, that's convenient. Find... You mean, like, an introspection thing? Bed. Sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. E to interact. There we go. Don't... You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank. Uh-oh. Better see what's up. Here we are! We have an inventory, um, furniture, cooking, crafting, clothing, fuel, and quest items. Our character, I know that we'll be able to wear hats, but it looks like we can also wear other outfit items in the future. Uh, can we look at things around the room? Play the guitar. Well, let's keep it off. Let's save the energy. Ah, here we go. I'm up! I'm up! Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides... Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. Let's see. Perhaps that's where we couldn't before. Uh, the basics, while in adventure mode, you can control Hank using WASD and walk around the world. Uh, let's go back the way we came. Uh, perhaps this way. Good. Get out. 
morning! Out! That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now. It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready, here it comes. We're coming. Uh, in adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items uh, in your inventory. Okay. Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. I don't think that's what that means. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. Hi, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. To black moss. What? What? Hmm. I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. Yay! The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure! Adventure. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. We received the notebook. It's a collectible, and we'll find it in our collectibles inventory. Awesome. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. You just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. Okay. Um. Here it is, a half-empty notebook ready to be filled with stuff you shouldn't forget. The first page says, to my love, allows tracking quests. I can't read what it says. <laughs> we'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley? Dunno, I fell asleep halfway through. You strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna be going this way. Is it morning? It's very dark.
the three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carlian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he'd made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. All right, gang, spread, spread out. A bunch of see you later. Find some alligator weed for Margaret. Okay. Looks like this is what we want. <laughs> what in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. I don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. Follow Will and Annie to Timber Crossing. I guess we have no choice. What does this say? Okay. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there. Fine, a uh, gentleman in the uh, orange coat? I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share and the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And, I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-year friend corporation. What the... Offering secured tour street, adjacent goods, and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a hair loom. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley.
We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them, then they stare at the trees and, and try to forget whatever they're running from. Hmm. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically barely alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely even seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back, money give. Good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Okay. Let's press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. The name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easy. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Alright, so within the adventure mode menu, we have two additional options. Okay, we have show walls, uh, and I guess we can sleep at night. The reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on a Monday. I hope I sniff out something good today. All it's missing is a picnic basket. simply punch the trees. I suppose because this is not Minecraft.
Hello. By God, a bear! It's just me, sir. Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk. <laughs> I'm just Hank in your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, ho a redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here! Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with any of this. Wow. Can you make all of that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll need my back saw, mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Looks like we can interact with materials in the world and loot their contents. Okay. find all the wood? Uh, yes. Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Uh, I suppose we should go too. I, we could take some more stuff on our way. Oh, there's a lot. Maybe we'll come back. That is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that.
clean up the shed? Yes, we did. Great. Now, we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You'll need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Uh, okay. Uh, what did this say? You can repair various objects in the world by gathering their required materials. Okay. We need pine wood planks, just three. Okay. This allows building and crafting in this area. It can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Did you get the workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks? Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Alright, Pan Voyage has new items available. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. Awesome. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe, shabby pallet bed recipe. We can craft it at the workbench. Go make one at the workbench. Okay, let's try it out. We want to craft the shabby pellet bed. We have sheets and plywood planks. Let's craft one. Okay. Were you able to make the bed? Yep. I got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. All right. Use the workbench to build and edit rooms within the cabins of your resorts. Okay. Let's build a room. A bedroom. Okay. Maybe just there. It needs a door. I suppose we only have this one right now. Okay, I'll put the bed inside. Okay. What else do we need? It'll cost us 90 coins, but we have 250, so let's, let's create it. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yep, stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So, we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table in front of the house that tells them where to go. And the little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Okay, the shop has new items. And we've unlocked a new crafting recipe, the front desk. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough.
While in build mode, you can always place furniture objects freely without having to build a room first. We want to craft the front desk. Um, we have all the plywood planks that we need. Okay. That should be all right. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you? Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got this joint ready. Hello. We'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and uncomfortable on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give him the experience of a lifetime. Let's see what new items we have. We can make a shabby wooden bed, a simple wardrobe, and the wooden footrest. We don't have a lot of money, so for now I'm not going to buy anything. The front desk can be used to manage your resorts. Let's give it a try. We have one bedroom with no guests. Okay. You would like to stay for two days. Let's let's go ahead and accept. And we'll assign him to bedroom one. The request was accepted. All right, everyone. Looks like we're officially in business. We'll pick up right here in the next episode.